Today our objective is to take scientific notation and learn how to multiply it or to divide it. When multiplying scientific notation there will be three steps that you're going to do. The first step is to multiply the decimal parts. What I mean by the decimal parts is the first two numbers that are going to be in the scientific notation. I know because the associative property and the community property of multiplication that I can take my 1 and 3 tenths times 4 and 7 tenths because I can multiply in any order and I can group them however I want. So when I take 1 and 3 tenths times 4 and 7 tenths, I end up with 6 and 11 hundredths. The second step I'm going to do is deal with the parts that have the um, base 10 to the power. So I have 10 to the power of 9 and 10 to the power of negative 5. I know because of our exponent rules that when I have the same base, I can add the exponents together when I am multiplying. And so when I do that in this case, I'm going to end up with 10 and then I'd add 9 plus negative 5, which is going to give me 4. My last step is going to be to write it in correct scientific notation. Now if I look at what I have right now, I do have it in correct scientific notation because the 6 and 11 tenths is in between 1 and it's less than 10 and then I have a base of 10 raised to an exponent so that would be my answer. If we go on to the second one I'm going to do the same steps. First I'm going to take my first two numbers so I will take my 4 and 5 tenths and my 4 and 2 tenths and I will multiply those together. When I multiply those together, I end up with 18 and 9 tenths. Then I'm going to add the exponents. So I'll take a look at the 10 to the 8th power, 10 to the 5th power. It's going to be times 10, and I add 8 plus 5, and I get 10 to the 13th. Now my last step, I'm writing it in correct scientific notation. And this time, you'll see that my first number is 18 and 9 tenths. And I know that in correct scientific notation, it needs to be less than 10. And so I have a problem here that I need to solve. So if I think about it, I know that 18 and 9 tenths, I could keep those same numbers and I could write it as 1 and 89 hundredths. And so I move that decimal over one spot to the left. And 1 and 89 hundredths times 10 to the first power is equal to 18 and 9 tenths because it would make me move that decimal over to the right once when I figured it out. So see how I changed 18 and 9 tenths to 1 and 89 hundredths? which gives me um, 1 and 89 hundredths times 10 to the first power. So now I need to combine this in the blue box with times 10 to the 13th. So I, in correct scientific notation form, I'd have 1 and 89 hundredths times 10. And if I have an exponent of 13 along with an exponent of 1 when I multiply it, I add the exponents which is going to give me 14. So this now is written in correct scientific notation. There will also be three steps when you are dividing scientific notation. It's really very similar. We start out with dividing the decimal parts. 
So we're going to start with those first two numbers that show up in the scientific notation. So I'll be taking 5 and 76 hundredths divided by 3 and 2 tenths. And when I do that, I'm going to get 1.8. And then for the second one, I'll be dividing the um, 10 to the 9th power divided by 10 to the 3rd power. I know because of my exponent rules that when I divide exponents, I subtract them. So I will be subtracting the exponents. So 10 to the 9th power divided by 10 to the 3rd power, I would subtract 9 minus 3, and that will give me times 10 to the 6. And then I always need to make sure that I write it in correct scientific notation form. And so if I check what I have, I have 1 and 8 tenths, which is um, greater than 1 and less than 10, so that is incorrect scientific notation form. If I go down to the bottom one, I'm first going to take 3 and 6 tenths divided by 6, which is going to give me 6 tenths, and then I'm going to divide 10 to the 4th power divided by 10 to the 5th power. And so I need to subtract the exponents, so 4 minus 5 is going to give me a negative number. 4 minus 5 is 10 to the negative 1st power. So I check and see, is this in correct scientific notation? And this time I'm going to have a problem because right here I have 6 tenths, and that's less than 1. So very similar to when we were working with multiplication, I can write this and move the decimal over one spot to make it just a 6, which is in between 1 and less than 10. And I know that 6 times negative, oh, 10 to the negative first power is equal to what I started with. So now I'm combining what I have, 6 times negative, 6 times 10 to the negative first power, and then the 10 to the negative first power to get 6 times 10 to the negative second power, because a negative 1 and a negative 1, when I combine them and add them together, I get negative 2. And now that is written in correct scientific notation form. Go ahead and try using the three steps that I just went through and see if you can get these two correct. So pause the video, turn it back on, see if you did it correctly, especially the converting it to correct scientific notation form. So with this first one, I'm going to be multiplying the decimal parts, 4 and 4 tenths times 3 and 9 tenths which is going to end up giving me 17 and 16 hundredths. Since I'm multiplying, I'm going to be adding the exponents, so I would end up with times 10, and if I add negative 6 plus 2, which are my two exponents, I end up with negative 4. Now this time I can see that it is not in correct scientific notation form yet because I have a number 17 and 16 hundredths, which is larger than 10. So that means I'm going to have to change it and convert it. I know that 17 and 16 hundredths is going to be equal to 1 and, 7, 1 and 716 thousandths times 10 to the first power. Because if I would multiply this number times 10, it's going to move that decimal over one spot to give me what I need right here. So since I have... Um, I'm going to combine this portion with 10 to the negative fourth. I'd have 1 and 716 thousandths times 10 to the negative third power because negative 4 plus 1 gets me to negative 3. If I look at the second one, 
when I divide 1 and 2 tenths divided by 2 and 5 tenths, I end up with 48 hundredths. I'm dividing this time, so I need to subtract the exponents. So I get 10. My exponents are negative 8 minus 5, which is the same as negative 8 plus negative 5. So I get a negative 13 for my exponent. Once again, unfortunately, I have a problem because this first number is less than 1. So I know that 48 hundredths is going to be the same as 4 and 8 tenths times 10 to the negative first power, which I'm going to combine with the 10 to the negative 13th. So I'd have 4 and 8 tenths times 10. Then I'm combining a negative 13 and a negative 1, adding them together. I'd end up with negative 14 for my exponent. And now that is written in scientific notation form as well. Please make sure to mark any um, questions that you're unsure about or any problems that you did that you got confused with. And we will talk about this tomorrow in class.